assalamu alaikum students now we are going to discuss energy and specific heats you all know that they are the energy have different forms it can be thermal energy it can be mechanical kinetic potential electrical magnetic chemical nuclear and microscopic energy so these are the different forms of energy total energy is going to be the sum of these energies and it is generally referred as uppercase e when we represent on a unit mass basis then the sum of energies is referred as lowercase e now microscopic energy is generally called internal energy which is represented by uppercase u on a unit mass basis it is referred as lowercase u now microscopic energy is the form of energy that is related to the molecular structure of a system and the degree of the molecular activity Now, sum of all microscopic form of energy is called internal energy. Now, this internal energy can be a sensible energy and can be a latent energy. Now, sensible energy is generally a sum of vibrational energy, you know, like molecules vibrate. Translational energy molecule translate and rotational energy. Some of these uh, rotational, vibrational, translational energy make up sensible energy. The amount of energy that is required for tra phase transformation is referred as latent energy. Another confusing term that you may have encountered is heat or thermal energy what's the difference between heat or thermal energy essentially heat or thermal energy is same we refer heat as therm as thermal energy so that it is not confused so that we don't confuse heat with heat transfer So to sum up, the microscopic energy are the internal energies. The other energies are called macroscopic energy. This macroscopic energy is related to the motion and the influence of some external effects such as gravity, magnetism, electricity and surface tension. Now this macroscopic energy, some well known macroscopic energies are kinetic energy and potential energy. Chemical energy or nuclear energy. We are not going to discuss these in this course. So kinetic energy is the energy that a system possesses as a result of its motion relative to some reference frame. You all know the formula of kinetic energy is mv squared over 2 but on per unit mass basis kinetic energy is referred as v squared over 2. Similarly potential energy is mgz or mgh on a unit mass basis it is referred as gz and this is the energy that a system possesses as a result of its elevation in a gravitational field so total energy i'm writing on a unit mass basis is going to be e is equal to u 
plus kinetic energy plus potential energy but there is an energy that is required for the fluid to move and maintain flow which is known as flow work and the definition is being written here that flow work is the energy per unit mass needed to move the fluid and maintain flow now the expression that I have written here it includes kinetic energy it includes potential energy it includes internal energy but it does not include flow work so we need another term to include that flow work and we use enthalpy and enthalpy is a combination of internal energy and flow work so the energy total energy will become basically H plus kinetic energy plus potential energy and H is internal energy U plus P over Rho which is flow work but how P over Rho is flow work because work that we know is force time distance So how this flow work P over Rho relates to W is equal to F times T. To understand that you know pressure is force time area. Pressure is sorry. Pressure is force per unit area. So force is pressure times area. So work becomes pressure times area times distance. Now A is the cross-sectional area where that force is exerting. So area times D make up pressure times volume now you all know density is mass to volume ratio so volume is basically M over Rho and for unit mass volume is going to be 1 over Rho when we replace this volume for a unit mass basis so it becomes P times 1 over Rho which is basically flow work So enthalpy includes this internal energy and it includes flow work. So I just reiterate that if you want to represent total energy of the system, it is going to be E is equal to H plus kinetic energy plus potential energy or you can say u plus p over rho plus v squared over 2 plus g z 
I hope it is clear to you now that energy, total energy is the sum of enthalpy or the sum of microscopic energy and macroscopic energy. Microscopic energy enthalpy is represented better by enthalpy because it includes internal energy and flow work and macroscopic energy we are considering only kinetic energy and potential energy. If you have any questions you can note it down now and we will discuss it uh, after finishing this presentation. Thanks a lot. One more point that I like to make here as I discuss about the total energy we have now discussed about specific heat now specific heat you know this delta u is basically cv delta t which is um, basically cv is the specific heat at constant volume times ten change in temperature now the enthalpy for a finite changes can be written as delta H is equal to delta U plus delta P over rho. Now if the pressure is constant then the change in pressure is going to be zero. So delta H at constant pressure is going to be delta U this change in internal energy for a constant temperature there will be no change in temperature so this one goes zero and delta H is going to be only change in flow work which is delta P over rho Okay, so that's it for energy and specific heat and uh, in the next presentation we are going to discuss about different coefficients. Thanks a lot.